this guys today we continue our lessons today we continue our lesson so guys this um it's going to be uh, a video where you are going to be learning some few stuff that's going to help you uh, throughout all the videos in order for you to understand because sometimes you have been given an application or task so um, there are things that uh, sometimes I don't explain. So, but today, guys, I'm going to be showing you. So, first thing first that we are going to do, what we are going to do, we are going to do an extraction of information. Extraction of information. Then we are going to deal with panels. We are going to deal with other stuff, right? So, uh, today we are just going to start with the extraction of the information right so here as you can see guys on our form we have two list box so we have two list box so the first one is list box one the second one it's list box two so we are having buttons guys so the first button so let's go and change the caption uh the first button uh the first button guys we can say uh, and Just like that, you can say add like that. Therefore, on our second button, on our second button, guys, we can just say remove, right? We can just say remove like that. So, on the first list box, so what we're going to be doing here, I'm going to show you, showing, I'm going to be showing you guys uh, how to extract information from one list box to another this box right so usually sometimes if you you, you can be given a task uh, to say um there is a um a text file you're supposed to read the information from the text file and put it on the edit box on the on the list box therefore after that you're supposed to select whatever line that will add it to the second list, list, list box right so today we're going to be adding the information manually. We're not going to be reading from a file, right? So we look for items so, that so, so we can be able to, to add our items. Now, number one. So here, guys, we're going to be entering uh, student information, students' information. So it's going to be separated by hashtags, right? So we're going to first have uh, the names and initials the student number and the age right let's go so the student number can be let's can use uh, just maybe five digits then we can separate by hashtag then uh, we can start with the the initials uh we can say so write them in, in yeah zulu uh zulu uh, ik then separate by hashtag two that's the student number then the age 23 so we're only going to have just four lines guys in order for me to be able to uh show you what we are doing here so what else you can say milazi as that then it's only five should be five then hashtag this one is 20. Then we have Kulula MK hashtag 28 hashtag this one is 21. So this the last one could be uh Pila, Pila, 
sore bila CR then we have the student number nah, then the age this one is 22 so this is what we have guys let's take we have this list box right we have this list box then we're given a task task extract the information we're supposed to read the information from this list box to the next list box right you can you can select one and add one 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 see so on this side you're supposed to select whatever and remove it see so let's go now we are supposed to code for adding the selected line to the next list box. So let's go, guys. Right. First thing first that we need to know, because, guys, it's important for you to understand the task, right? Read what do they want. So in order for us to be able to, 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 to get... To, to, to move the whatever line we have selected to the other one. We have to know which line did we select, right? So we can declare an int, integer value and call it the index, right? So we can assign it. Therefore, we can say list box one point two item index, just like that. Item index, just like that. Right now we know which index the user is selecting line and extract it and add it to the next list box. So let's go. We have to declare an answer string called line. After that, we have to say line. Take the line that we have selected. Right. We're going to say line equals to uh, list box one point two items then point to rings therefore we specify the the index so we can say index just like that so now we have the line so we're supposed to add it to the next list box so it's list box number two so we're going to say a uh, list two this box two point two items point two because we are supposed to add to the other list box. So we are saying items point to add. So what are we adding? We're adding the line, right? We're adding the whole line, okay? So we're adding the whole line to the next uh, list box or to list box two. So well, let's run our program and see if it's working or not. So guys, it's important to understand the task that you have been given. So break it down. If you are able to understand how it, how does a compiler work, especially on this one, because when we have those components, you know that when you you click a button, so if, if it's a button, the, the compiler will loop only once. So it will go from the first line until to the bottom right therefore it will work again when you press it again see oh i didn't click the run sorry guys i just saved okay let's compile so it's very important guys i'm going to uh, uh show you especially when we're dealing with um a follow-up right when we're dealing with loops so when 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 you have a, a follow-up the compiler will go first on the first step where you have declared your variables and will read whatever. Therefore, it will go to a follow-up. So it will skip this follow-up after, or it will terminate after the loop is done looping and complete everything. So when it when it, when it's done, it won't come back again. You're supposed to press that button again. See? Right. Now, let's see if it's going to work or not. So now we are just extracting only the selected line, right? Only the selected line from 
the first list box. We can pick any. We can pick any. Right. We can pick any. So let's see. We have selected this one and add. So you see, automatically it is being added. Right? Because we know which line did we select. Because here, guys, um, this thing is like a loop, right? Uh, even though it's not like a loop, but the numbers, the number of lines here, it's the, um, this one, it's going to be the second. The index is two here. Why? Because we start from zero, one, then two. This one, it's three. But the items, they are four, right? So you can select another one and add. You can also add the same one you have selected for as long as it has been selected. So you can add until, so you see, very simple. So what else? Now I want to show you how to remove whatever you have selected, but you want to remove from this list box, right? Let's go. Click our remove. So we're supposed to code almost the same. So because we need only the item index here, copy, we come here. Say we can change here and say this box two because it's list box two. So after this, we are just going to say, copy this, paste there, then delete. So what are we deleting? We're deleting an index, the index that we have. Uh, red, uh, so it's two. So we're not deleting, we have to know which is that's why we should in the function, right? So let's see if it's going to work or not. Um, still, we are going to be dealing with um, the two list box, right? I'm going to be showing you a few stuff, few stuff, few stuff. So now we are deleting, we have extracted and added. Now we are deleting, right? Sorry guys about that. Uh, I just lost my connection. So let's continue. Uh, we're running. We're running. Uh, let's let's continue running. Let's see. Because we were supposed to test here, so now we're going to add and remove it. Add, 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 you can add everything and also you can remove everything. Right. So now, what we have noticed is that whenever we have done editing here, now we are supposed to remove. Still, this this line it's been selected so we have to unselect this line right then let's go and fix that we can say if we click anything here we have to unselect there and also if we select here we have to unselect here let's go right now we have to code on a list box on click right so on click of this we have to set the index of list box one to negative one because we can't say we can we can't say we set it to set it to zero because the first item is zero right so we can use negative one same applies here this one we can say we can copy this one let's do it here therefore fix and right to do we are coding so these guys are points that will help you to know how to select and unselect an item from a list box right so just to be able to play around with this object so it will help you a lot it will help you a lot So let's wait for the compiler to finish.
okay right now we can add we can add you see still it's been selected it's fine then now when we select here it gets unselected you see then we remove when we select by mistake here when we select the site it unselects the site you see then we add we add so then now we want to remove you see it's very 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 nice it's very nice so what else can we do we are just playing around with the the list box and the buttons right we are just playing 